wonder, wonder why I do whatever I like I do What I like I do, I do, I do What I like I do, I do Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel I know, I know <sighs> Listen y'all, let me tell you something real quick, okay? For some reason, after I did the She Devil makeup look, after I did my birthday glam makeup look, I don't know what happened, but it feels like I literally took a week off, which I kind of low key did. I went a week without doing makeup. What the fuck? That was not the that was not the plan. Just know that, okay? It was not the plan. But she's back, okay? She's back, and we're back at it again. We're back into the mix. We're back getting within these makeup looks, okay? So. For today's video, first of all, I'm starting hella late, so excuse me if I'm talking a little fast, but I'm just trying to get this intro out the way and complete it so I can finally get to the actual look. But I know y'all are like, girl, what is the look? But y'all already see by the thumbnail, y'all already see by the title. Your girl is going to be doing an anime inspired makeup look part two. Okay, I wanted to bring it back, but almost like 10 times better than the original you know what I mean and this time I'm actually going to show y'all every detail that I do on camera regardless if it's just one side of my eye or both sides of the eyes you guys are going to see exactly everything that I did for this makeup look okay I promise I won't miss anything out today's inspiration for this anime inspired makeup look part two okay so i'm gonna tell you a little backstory from it real quick um basically your girl was gonna do the same thing i did the first time i did my anime inspired makeup look but i was just going to change the color of it up you know what i mean i was gonna go from like a blue a turquoise type of vibe and then i look on my scroll feed on instagram right and i see my dear friend nautica um if you guys don't know her first of all she's such a sweet person she's such a cool vibe chill sweet person um i personally known her since high school and she's an amazing artist she makes the most amazing anime creative drawings she can even do more than just creating an anime character she can sketch out a full body full head she can do any size from tall to small um wide or skinny she can do it all okay she i this is how i know you're a true artist honestly if you have scad which is the school of art and design to personally give you like almost like a damn near full tray i think this was like in 10th grade i think it had to be like 10th grade i think yeah it was i think it was around 10th grade and she she basically like scad pretty much gave her like so much art supplies and it was like girl you bomb you bomb the fuck basically <laughs> like we had a whole assembly for it and everything and i just thought that was so freaking awesome and i'm like damn you got to be that amazing of an artist for a school to want to go out their way to say here take all of our art supplies you need it because you're amazing and we hope you create some amazing shit while having all of this and so i was like bruh <laughs> that's freaking awesome I'm going to put her Instagram page right here so you guys can go follow her. She's not only on a road to 100k, but you guys, she definitely puts her art pieces, her artworks, um, her drawings on her Instagram page for you guys to show some love, for you guys to see and show some love too as well. Um, within her drawings, y'all, she basically found some way, some form, or some way, somehow to make her drawings come into the form of stickers. You guys can purchase these each individual stickers. Now these stickers are made within from commissioning. Commission within art is basically saying that the artist created these personally on within her own um, idea, within her own way and basically just uh, specialize these for you guys to personally buy or this is requested by one of her supporters um, for her to do a specific drawing or a specific design for to for her to sell on her website as well um, so yeah you guys can definitely go purchase those if you uh, definitely should if you're really into anime and if you really want to really have some really cool designs as um, stickers they are definitely durable within four years um they're uv stable and they can go within any type of outside environment they are basically amazing and not only does she make them into the form of stickers y'all she is now selling them within keychains so if you want a keychain 
Hey, honey, you better go buy you a keychain, okay? Um, I think that is so freaking cool. And then on top of that, she also does special uh, commission art pieces as well, either requested or these are personally designed and created within her home. And she just wants to sell them within her website um, for you guys to check out and for you guys to want to buy. And I just, like I said, at the end of the day, I think it is so freaking cool and amazing. And Nautica, girl, you are doing your damn thing okay y'all she's making money she's making money and doing what she loves at the same time and i support that a hundred percent okay the girl's trying to do the same thing you know what i'm saying <laughs> we'll have all the screenshots of everything up here for you guys to see and now we are getting into what i'm actually inspired by for today's anime part two makeup look this is one of her personal characters that she wanted to create I'm gonna say the name wrong. I'm gonna say the name wrong. It's gonna be S Esther 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 E S T H E R. I just don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but it's an amazing, beautiful character, and I just personally feel like this is just full melanin chocolate complexion, and I'm here for it all the way. The haircut is so cute. Um, the flowers around her are so cute. The whole entire outfit is so cute. I will keep wish I had that outfit, but I don't. So yeah um but as y'all can see this is my inspiration for today's makeup look and it is completely my inspiration for it because of the simple fact that i even went ahead and created myself some extra ear piercings um out of construction paper um i went ahead and applied them on off camera just to speed up time and of course i applied on some regular schmegula um earrings as well but yeah i'm really into this makeup look and i'm really into it and i hope it comes out if not i completely identical if not i hope she like see the inspiration that i'm trying to take from it and somewhat of the recreation and bring it to life with the makeup that's all i'm trying to do and like i said i just i really hope i make her proud and i really hope that this puts a smile on her face i hope this um gives her joy within her heart because i haven't talked to her in a minute it's been a minute since we chit chatted but when we do chit chat it's always a, a funny and a good time she's very supportive she's been supportive of me and my makeup looks and me doing makeup and being into makeup for the longest she always loves to show love to my makeup looks and i definitely want to give some um support and show some love to her within her art because it is amazing regardless if she's doing animated or just regular creative painting whatever it's art and it's it's still amazing and it's still a beautiful work of peace um within creativity been pretty much supportive of each other since we started following each other on Instagram which I think was I think it's officially like what been three years now I think it's been about yeah I think it's been about a good three years I think I followed her like as soon as we graduated <laughs> I think I followed her since we graduated like a couple months after graduation and stuff like that I think that's when we started following each other but like I said ever since then we've been pretty supportive and we gotta start supporting one another okay it's 2020 it's a new year we gotta really support each other within whatever we do because we all want to see each other succeed i want to see her succeed even more within her art and within her creativity and you know what i mean it just you know just being a supportive friend or whatever um <laughs> right she does not know anything about this yet um i'm not gonna even tell her anything about this until i actually upload the video and until i actually post the makeup look on to my page on instagram so she does not know anything about this so girl when you see this yes it was a secret yes i only told one friend and that one mutual friend was maya and you know who she is i told her and she was hyped she was excited for it she said you were gonna love it she said you would like freak the freak out and so i was just like you know what yes now i really have to do this <laughs> okay y'all i know this is a lengthy intro okay um but i just want to get my point across i just want to let y'all know what inspired me i want to give my girl nautica a shout out and i kind of want to give you a little backstory on how i even got inspired to want to recreate um one of her art pieces as well but without further ado whew, god let's hope i can get this though for some that jesus lord help me <sighs> okay so before we get into this video, why don't you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button, subscribe to your girl's channel. First of all, we are over 680, y'all. We are almost to 700 subscribers. That is freaking awesome. Oh my god, thank you so much for the love and support. I really do appreciate it. 
like I said, share this out to your auntie, your, your nieces, your nephews, your cousins, your friends, your best friend, your mama. Share this out to everybody. Share this to everybody. Let everybody know who the Kanisha is and what can she mother can do. Okay? And then watch you guys also go ahead and hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video here like Leos on my channel. And don't forget to go ahead and follow your girl on all of her social medias, which is her Instagram and her Twitter. You guys already know if you watch me desktop version, there are two links up in that banner. And if you follow me mobily, if you're watching me mobily, um, then you guys can go ahead and just go to my bow section and there should be two links to my social medias there as well. But like I said, you guys will not further ado. Let's 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 go ahead and get into this video. Hey, 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 this video. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey you guys so as you guys can see your girl went ahead and did the base of the face off camera on top of gluing down those brows and covering those up y'all already know what's up but all the products that i use for the base of the face and covering up these eyebrows will be in the description box down below along with discount codes so you guys already know i got your girl okay i promise from all the products that I use from the brows to the base of the face, everything will be in the description box down below. Okay, so I got y'all. But while we're going to go ahead and get into this look eventually once I keep smiling. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to be taking some brown liquid eyeliner by LA Colors. And I'm basically just going to take that and I'm going to shape the brow for this Esther character. Um, her brows are pretty simple. Just a straight line, a little bit of a hump but pretty much straight. I wanted to thicken mine. Hers a little bit more thinner in the drawing, but I wanted to thicken mine a little bit more so y'all can see it from afar, um, depending on how I was going to, you know, officially take the picture. So I did went ahead and thickened her brow up a little bit more, um, and I kind of made it a little bit more longer on um, that side, and then, you know, evened it out shortly within the other side as well. And then I'm going to take some black LA Color um, liquid eyeliner, and I'm basically going to create the brow piercing. Um, and it's just basically one circle at the bottom, and it's pretty, it's, it's a pretty small to medium sized circle so you want to make it pretty thick once again so that way you guys can you know see it from afar within picture um and really get the details of this face and then of course you got to space it out a little bit at the top and i'm just doing tapping motions i'm not trying to actually draw the circle in i'm just lightly tapping it and just going around in circular motions until i feel like i got a decent enough um small to medium sized circle and then I'm going to create the same one at the top um but you want to give it just a little bit of space in between from that brow so you can really see that print okay and then I'm going to take that top contour shade in the black radiance bold and sexy face and eyes palette and I'm basically taking that shade I'm just kind of highlighting my brows I'm not gonna lie this is a little bit unnecessary. Um, That's just me being extra. But I wanted to kind of highlight it because it seemed like she had a little bit of highlight under her brows in the drawing. So I wanted to attempt that. And now we're getting into drawing the eyelids. So this is what happened, y'all. For some reason, when it came to drawing these eyelids, these lines to create the eyelid of the um, anime character, for some reason, this liquid eyeliner kind of gives a little bit of a shiny effect after you apply it and it was kind of sticking on top of each other every time I raised up my eyelids so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna go over it with some black paint smear it a little bit and we're gonna call it a day um so that's basically what I ended up doing and now I'm taking the black liquid eyeliner and I went ahead and just started structuring out the actual liner um, within the eyelid and kind of creating that extraness to it um, later on you will see that I decided to use black paint because once again it was giving that shiny effect and it was really tricking me off so I just went ahead and switched it up so first what we're going to do is, is we're going to create that eyelid now if y'all know within anime drawings anime characters their eyeliner goes downwards and never swoops straight or upwards it kind of goes downwards a little bit um, so that's how I did it at first just to kind of get it started um, but when you really look at the details of it all it kind of extends out a little bit more in the um, inner corner of the eyelid as well so that's what I'm also doing and then um, it's actually pretty pretty damn thick okay um, this wing eyeliner is super thick and then on top of that she has like this little cute dot next to the eyeliner 
as well and i think it's super super cool so once i got both of those together and ready to go um, i'm basically taking some greasy white pure white face paint and i'm also um taking um a paintbrush a small precise paintbrush and i'm basically just starting to create the eyeball shape now I know it's not technically the traditional anime eye, but I'm really trying to really get this recreation uh, within the eyeballs as, you know, close as I possibly could. So I'm following along with what the artist did, okay? So don't check me, okay? She wanted her eyes to be like that in the drawing, so this is how I'm making my eyes within the makeup look, period. <laughs> so I'm basically just kind of um, sketching out the eye from the inner corner of that liner all the way to the outer um, V of where the liner stops and I'm basically just filling it in and then after I fill it in um, I did go over some corners and some lines I felt like were a little too thin a little bit too thick um, just to kind of help, <laughs> help me out and I sneeze but let's me um, and I just took a very small precise paintbrush and I just kind of curved out those lines to kind of give myself that little hump at the bottom because um, I do know that is within an anime eye so you want to keep that um, together and then I'm taking a very small precise eye flat eyeshadow brush and I'm dipping into the white translucent shade in the Pop Beauty Center 1 in 1 palette and I'm basically setting the grease face paint pure white face paint on top just so that way when we're able to apply this paint and won't move around it will just stay there and hopefully um be nice so basically that's all i'm doing i'm just lightly tapping it i'm not pressing it too hard and of course if you get any fallout just wipe it off with um your face powder brush now basically what i'm doing is I'm creating more of that liner because that liner is actually pretty thickened out and I realized that it's way more winged out than what I made it so I'm basically just going over and just really getting in within the details of that eyeliner and I'm kind of extending it out towards the corner a little bit because it actually is pointed upwards and it's at an angle so that's basically with the same thing that I wanted to recreate and then the liner is a little bit towards down at the eyeballs as well and then basically I'm taking some um, brown liquid eyeliner and I'm creating that line at the bottom that is usually tradition within a lot of anime eyeballs. Um, just creating that sparch line just going straight across. I'm actually making it a little bit more thicker just so once again you guys can see it from afar whenever I got to um, taking my pictures. And then on top of that I'm taking some black paint and we're creating these two little dots at the bottom which I want to assume that those are her lash line, her, uh, her bottom lashes. <laughs> so so that's what I'm basically doing is just taking those and creating nice little small but somewhat medium sized circles and I'm making sure that it has space between each other and then I'm also going over that black line as well that we made at the bottom of the eyelid and then I kind of extended a little bit of a line towards the sides as well but basically what I'm doing right now is I'm taking some brown paint that I ended up mixing together and I'm basically taking the paint colors of brown um, I'm taking a little bit of a dark brown and I'm taking a little bit of a light green and i'm taking a nice brownish um light green those are the main colors that i'm using for this eye because if you really zoom in it gives you a nice greenish brownish type of vibe but then from afar it also looks a little bit more on the brownish side as well so i wanted to even that out as much as i possibly could so that's why when this comes in handy with the blending, you really want to make sure you're taking your time and blending those colors in together. You don't want it to look like you have one line of this color and another line of this color. No, you actually really do want to take your time and make sure that you're blending those colors in together. So that's exactly what I'm doing with the small precise paintbrush. And I'm just kind of making sure that I'm going in with those both of those colors. And really mixing those colors in together so that way you can really see the blend of everything. Um, and if you have to go over it with the other couple colors, then I definitely suggest to do so. But just as long as you got the main colors in the, you know, the actual um, iris of the eyeball, then I think that's that's the main important part. Um, and you definitely want to drag that all the way up towards your um towards your bottom lash line as well because of course that's where the eyeball is starting now of course i accidentally did a good a decent amount of stuff off camera as y'all can see your girl applied eyelashes that's what the main thing i felt like i was missing within the eyes and i also went ahead and created the pupil um the eyelid the iris of the eyeball is pretty much done i didn't really do too too much i just highlighted it with a lot of light green paint within certain uh parts of the iris and of course i did the white highlights within the eyeballs as well sorry y'all i meant to do it on camera i promise i did um but now lastly what i'm doing to the eyes is i'm taking that yellow shade from 
the Bold and Sexy Face and Eyes Palette. And I'm basically just adding that on top of the highlighted areas within the eyes. But I'm also bringing it up upwards towards the eyelid as well to kind of give it a little bit more of a brighter um, feel to it. And I felt like it actually did really help. So now I'm basically taking the brown and the black liquid eyeliners by LA Colors. And... Let's see, what am I doing? I think what, a, what am I doing? Oh, the one part that I also forgot was to outline the iris, <laughs> the eye, the iris of the eyeball. That's what I'm doing. I'm going in with brown first, and then I'm going in with black just to really define the lines of it all. Um, that's why I felt like I was missing throughout this whole tutorial. I'm like, something's missing. Something missing besides the lashes. That was the main part I was missing. So once I got that done, now we're finally getting into contouring the face. Now, I'm not going to say this was the easiest thing to do, but it well, definitely wasn't hard. So I'm basically taking that brown shade from the Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill Vault Ring the Alarm Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm taking that small, precise uh, face brush that I love to use for stuff like this. And I'm basically just going in and contouring my face first. I wanted to give myself a little bit of contour. Um slash bronze first before I really went in with the shade and then I'm also taking that dark brown shade from the black radiance um beauty what is it nude attitude eyeshadow palette I'm taking that dark brown shade and basically what I'm doing is I'm dipping into that brown shade from the morphe brushes palette first and I'm just lightly tapping um, a circle shape within a certain part within the eyes that's like literally right underneath and I'm dragging it almost towards my contour line and dragging it also into the temples of the face um, because she really has really defined um, highlights within her cheeks. But what I love about it is that they're dark. They're not light. You know what I mean? They're not like a light pink or dark pink. They're actually just brown. So that's basically what I'm doing is I'm just focusing on all the areas that were really contoured within the face on top of her cheekbones as well. And I know I look a little darker, dark, or dark. So that's why I wanted to go in with a little bit of that dark blush from the Bold and Sexy Face Palette eyes and face palette by black radiance and i also went in with a powder brush to kind of blend some of those areas out so they won't look too 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 harsh you know what i mean so i did go ahead and highlight my nose with a little bit of that first um contouring shade and i'm basically just going around my nose contour but at the same time um i'm also defining my nose contour um, it's a whole back and forth motion thing that i was doing with both of those brushes just to really make them even enough as possible and then once we get done contouring up the whole entire face we're going to go ahead and highlight these cheeks because she has two little cute highlights within both of her um cheeks so that's exactly what we are doing you're making pretty much a medium to almost a large big one and then you're making a small one and then we're getting into the lips okay so basically we're just taking the nika k lip liner in the shade dark brown we're going to go ahead and lip line just the top lip not the bottom lip do not touch the bottom lip just touch the top lip and just kind of make your line within almost like a triangle within the cupid's bow instead of going in around um just take it upwards and kind of make it into like a a nice little um triangle and then we're taking that dark brown shade from the eyeshadow palette and we're basically just tapping that on there um to make it a little bit more darker and then what we're doing is, is we're creating the teeth um that was actually one part that i was really about to forget because i was like oh shit she got some teeth she got her teeth showing so that's what i went ahead and did i just created the shape within it's what's like a triangle shape at the top of the lip and then you're just creating a little bit of um a little bit of white within the bottom lip and just kind of connecting them together once your lips both of your lips closes you see that so that's basically what I did and then of course I went ahead and, cr and created the props for the look off camera glue them on with some latex glue you guys and that's pretty much it to the finished look okay you guys and this right here is the finished look I wanted to stand out a little bit so you guys can really see it um, I personally like it. I'm a little pissed off right now because I definitely glued the flower on the wrong side. Um, she drew this flower onto this side and I drew, I drew it onto this side and everything's already glued together. So I kind of have to just deal with it. But um, this is pretty much it to the finished look. Um, I personally like it. I feel like it's all going to come together once I really get the picture within editing of everything. But uh, for right now, for how it is, I definitely 
Now, I also wanted to mention, y'all, that I definitely did not mean to do half of this off camera. I meant to show y'all certain things, but I hope you still guys kind of got the eye, uh, the eye set, the concept within my eyes and then with the whole entire face, with the whole entire look in general, too. I just wanted to mention that, but I was also trying to speed up time because luckily we did get done before sunset. Um, thank y'all, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. I feel like I definitely brought it to life as best as I possibly could. And I really do hope I make her proud. Um, the things I did off camera was just add this on to my shoulders. I went ahead and painted a necklace with a nice... Um, with a nice little gem and a light green slash a little bit yellow gem in the center which I definitely wanted to add yeah I wanted to add some more yellow onto that Loki kind of fucked it up but um and then I tried my best to attempt to add a um because I personally don't have a blue dark blue tank top so I went ahead and added a dark blue um, strap painted on just to kind of add an efference and then there was some shadowing within the shadow and then there was these two highlights on within the shoulder so I wanted to head and emphasize that as well and then of course I went ahead and added this on and I don't have the exact same colored sweater as the one she created so I kind of just found one that was kind of like grayish ish in a way but if you guys can do me a huge favor and send this to my girl Nautica, I'm going to put her Instagram once again here um, on the screen along with the inspiration for this look. And I also went ahead and added another piece of construction paper for a lip ring because her um, her character, her Esther character does have a lip ring as well. So that's what I also went ahead and did. Um, but I try to bring it to life as much as I possibly could. Nautica, if you are watching this right now, hey boo, I love you. I hope you're doing um, very well. And um, I hope I personally made you proud with this. Um, don't mind that that's my birthday balloons, y'all floating in the air. Um, but yeah, I hope I made you proud, girl. And like I said, I'm sorry for this mishap. Um, but I try my best to get the color, the vibrant color that you have within the flowers. I made these a little too, too big, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I it, <laughs> look at my head and look at this. <laughs> I feel like I made it a little too, too big. But you know what? I'm still going to rock with it. Because I still think it's cute at the end of the day. And yeah, but if you guys personally like this um, anime, inspire, recreation, makeup look part two. If you guys think I did it personally... Um, a decent slash good or great job why don't you guys go ahead and get this video a big old thumbs up and then comment down below any other makeup look suggestions that you guys would like for me to do here onto my channel don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay subscribe to your girl's channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time i upload videos here like this onto my channel as well and like i said i hope you guys personally like this look i hope you guys personally enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye